Many are asking what can be done about the hateful extremist writings that are on the internet. The president wants law enforcement and media companies to do more to police internet hate speech, but is that even possible? Our Washington correspondent Trevor Shirley reports. Online hate speech is like the wildfire of the internet. Easy to see, but almost impossible to contain. Online hate is bigger than any individual platform, and we need a new way of looking at how it spreads across different platforms. Data scientist Reese Leahy studies online hate speech, in particular how it spreads. She compares controlling it to breaking a piece of glass. The, the big pieces, when you're picking it up, those are like the big platforms. They're easy to work with. Uh, the ones that are problematic are the little shards that you might step on later. Shards, she says, like 8chan, a forum where the alleged El Paso shooter reportedly posted a racist manifesto minutes before his massacre. On Monday, the president called on social media companies and law enforcement to crack down on internet hate speech. But free speech advocates say not so fast. Most of the very offensive speech that people see online is constitutionally protected. The Cato Institute's Matthew Feeney says censorship by the government is a slippery slope. The vast majority of creepy weirdos don't uh, turn out to be mass shooters, so I worry that uh, the policing of, of, the, of the web will lead to uh, over-enforcement and false positives. And shutting down a site like 8chan may not make a difference. Leahy says immediately after the shooting, online posters were already looking ahead. In the same 8chan thread where the shooter posted his manifesto, someone asked, so when this place gets shut down, where are we all going next? 